In Mark 11, verse 25, Jesus talks about forgiveness in prayer. He says that when you pray, forgive anyone you have something against. That's a big deal. It means before you talk to God, make things right with people. It's like cleaning your heart before you have a chat with God. Forgiveness is like a superpower. It frees you from carrying around grudges and anger. When you forgive someone, it doesn't mean what they did is okay. It means you're letting go of the hurt they caused you. It's tough sometimes, but it's worth it. Now, why does Jesus say this? Well, he knows that holding on to anger and resentment can mess with your prayers. It's like having a bad connection. So he's saying, clear the air with people first, then talk to God. It's like making sure your phone has good signal before making an important call. When we pray, we're talking to God. We're telling him what's on our minds and hearts. And prayer isn't just about asking for stuff. It's about connecting with God, thanking him and asking for his help. But here's the thing. If we're holding on to bitterness or unforgiveness, it's like there's a barrier between us and God. It's hard to have a real conversation with someone when there's tension between you. So Jesus is saying, deal with that tension first, then come talk to God. Forgiveness isn't easy, but it's powerful. It's not about letting people off the hook. It's about freeing yourself. And when you pray with a clean heart, it's like opening up a direct line to God. He hears you loud and clear. So next time you pray, check your heart. Is there anyone you need to forgive? Anyone you need to make things right with? Take care of that first, then talk to God. You'll be amazed at how it changes your prayers. Forgiveness and prayer go hand in hand. When you forgive, you make room for God to work in your life. And when you pray with a clean heart, you invite God to move mountains on your behalf. So let go of the grudges, release the anger, and forgive like Jesus forgave. Then pour out your heart to God in prayer. He's listening and he's ready to meet you right where you are. Forgiveness and prayer are two powerful tools in our spiritual toolbox. Let's dive deeper into how they work together and why they're so important in our lives. Imagine forgiveness as a key that unlocks the door to freedom. When someone hurts us, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a stranger, it's like they've locked us in a cage of anger and bitterness. But forgiveness is the key that sets us free. It doesn't mean what they did is okay, but it means we're choosing to let go of the hurt and move forward. When we forgive, it's like taking a weight off our shoulders. We're no longer carrying around the burden of resentment. Instead, we're opening ourselves up to healing and restoration. And that's where prayer comes in. Prayer is our direct line to God. It's how we communicate with Him, share our joys and struggles, and seek His guidance and help. But here's the thing. When we're holding on to unforgiveness, it's like there's static on the line. It's hard to hear God clearly when our hearts are clouded with anger and hurt. That's why Jesus emphasized the importance of forgiveness in prayer. In Mark 11, verse 25, he said, And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. It's like he's saying, Deal with your stuff before you come talk to me. When we pray with a heart that's been cleansed by forgiveness, it's like opening up a clear channel to God. We can pour out our hearts to Him without anything holding us back. And not only that, but when we forgive others, we experience the freedom and joy that comes from being in right relationship with God and those around us. But let's be real, forgiveness isn't always easy. Sometimes it's the last thing we wanna do. We'd rather hold on to our anger and nurse our grudges than let them go. But here's the thing, unforgiveness doesn't hurt the person who hurt us, it hurts us. It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. So how do we forgive, especially when it feels impossible? Here are a few things to keep in mind. First, remember that forgiveness is a process, not a one-time event. It might take time to work through your feelings and let go of the hurt, and that's okay. Be patient with yourself and trust that God is with you every step of the way. Second, pray for the person who hurt you. It might sound counterintuitive, but praying for your enemies can actually help soften your heart towards them. Ask God to bless them, to help them grow, and to bring healing to your relationship.